Throughout the years, the Burlington Red Devils saw a wide variety of runners for boys cross country. Paul Hogan, Rashad Prakash, and current senior James Johnson. Johnson has followed in the footsteps of Prakash and has received records and personal bests during his time on the team. Now, he was given the Boston Herald All-Scholastic and the Boston Globe All-Stars. Uh, there was no All-States, so the Globe came up with a new formula. I don't know exactly what it was, but created both their All-Scholastics and then an All-Star squad. Um, the Herald um, talked to some coaches. I know some of the coaches they talked to. In James's case, it was straightforward in that he was undefeated in the Middlesex League, so he was the best athlete coming out of Middlesex League freedom. Um, last year, he was third at the Middlesex League league meet, and the other two kids graduated. Um, so I think it was a, a pretty obvious selection. Um, probably what he had going against him is the one invitational he ran, um, and these were not part of the MIAA schedule. Um, he didn't have a great race, and that's where they compared a lot of the kids from across the state. My coach was saying I got um, All Scholastic from the Globe, and this year I got the All Star and All Scholastic from the Herald. So it's really nice to be able to to get to get recognition for what I've done and also to see other people that I've raced with maybe not every single week but on the higher stage look at them that they have the same recognition that I do and be able to see that there's so many people like me that put in the work and have it pay off. In 2019 Rashad Prakash departed from the team which gave James Johnson an opportunity to step up to the plate. The plus side of it is um, you have someone to train with, you have someone to, to shoot for, you have someone who you can learn from, how it's done and how it's done right. So in James's case, he was following it sort of in the footsteps of Rashab Prakash. Um, and then when James started to break Rashab's cross-country age grade records, I think that sort of opened up his mind to what he could accomplish. Originally, the indoor track season was going to begin in January. However, with cases on the rise in Massachusetts, and indoor track facilities being closed, the MIAA decided to push it back to fall session two in February. The MIA does what the MIA does and sort of seems like rules changed when they wanted to get basketball and hockey in, um, but track didn't get to go in. And now we'll start our season on February 22nd. To go a year in between track meets is, is really, really difficult. And there will be kids like uh, James, who have been doing a lot of training on their own, and then there will be kids who have done no training, and that's going to be sort of a, a tough transition for them. It's honestly a bummer. It obviously is, but um, I think personally and for a lot of kids on the team, we don't do track for the competitions. We do it because we love to run. So as long as we still have roads, we can run outside. So the season's still there, so we still have the chance to run. So that's I'm looking forward to it. As the off season continues, Johnson is gearing up for his last few months as a senior and is continuing to enjoy his time with the team. The team that we built here and the culture that we have here is really enjoyable. Being able to grow up and being able to be mentored by other kids on the team that are higher than me and as a senior being able to mentor other kids and just being able to to build that team is really was really nice and I really am going to miss it but as I go on and as I run in college it'll be all that same team so it'll be nice. Obviously we'll miss James. Um, we miss all of our runners and he's been in the top tier um, but it's that's the nature of coaching. Um, you lose kids every year and then it will be the job of the next group to step up. Uh, if we're going to continue to be successful they'll step up. If not then I'll really start to miss James. From Varsity Field, I'm Robert Paris for B News Sports.